record button. Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Wave, the wonderful Alberni Valley experience. I am your host, Don Texan, broadcasting via Zoom, home alone. I assure you, I'm alone. Sadly, I am alone. <laughs> <laughs> and for my guest today, I have come across this wonderful lady who's in Capitol River, right? Am I right? Yep. And but she used to live here in Port Alberni. Yes, so she, I am definitely a Port Albernian at heart. That is there you sure. go. So she definitely has a wonderful Alberni Valley experience to share with us mm -hmm. today. And her name is Ashley Clark. Did I say that right, Madal? Yep, you did. And let me read a little bio that you sent me. Originally, you're from Ontario, mm -hmm. out west for 11 years now, pursuing a radio career. That's interesting. We'll talk about that. Mm -hmm. Across Alberta and BC, currently hosting the morning show on 99.7.2 uh, FM, FM. Yep. FM uh, in Campbell River. And you recently started a side hustle working online building business. We're going to talk about that. Yeah. All right, from home. And you are the vice president and events chair for Young Professionals of Campbell River. Yeah. Uh, when, when social distancing wasn't in play yet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you're also the local MC for a variety of events when they used to happen. You're into snowboarding and rock climbing. I should put you in touch with my adventure segment host. Oh, Jeff, sure. You know, hiking and camping and anyway, and, then, and uh, mountain sunny North Island beaches. <laughs> oh, loves gardening. You should visit my garden. I got a lovely Ooh. garden. You have a big I one? I put up a gazebo in, memo in a memory of my partner who passed away. Aww. And uh, working on personal development and spreading as much good vibes as possible. That I already know. Mm -hmm. So, welcome <laughs> to the show, Ashley. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. I mean, you already did. Yeah, that's pretty much me in a nutshell. I I really love outdoor adventures. I love doing things like gardening and trying to be, you know, as self-sufficient as possible and just spread as much love and good vibes as possible because I feel mm -hmm. like our world really needs it. Okay, cool. Now, I, I sent you a set of questions. I have to grab them. I'm so <laughs> ill-prepared this morning. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I'll just do a little dance while you're gone. There you go. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Run that fire away. So thank you for being on the show once again. Yeah. And uh, for taking the time to be with us. I'm mm -hmm. interested on first and foremost on your Alberni experience. So when did what year did you come to Port Alberni? I moved there uh, near the end of 2014. Mm -hmm. And then I left near the end of 2016. Oh, yeah. we didn't encounter each other. I moved here 2015. So you, I was in oh. the middle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I still go often. Well, not right now, but I love visiting there. I go and like, I still own a house there. So I go and check on my house and I love the community. I made so many good friends there. And so it's still, it's still a piece of me. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Tell me about uh, one of your wonderful Alberni Valley experiences while you were here. Just one? I, ah. Uh, you. <laughs> so many good ones. I so I moved from Alberta, from Edmonton, and I moved to this place again I from Alberta. I have so many people here I meet who moved from Alberta. Yeah, well, okay. it's paradise compared. <laughs> yes, definitely. I yeah. love the word paradise. So I moved to Alberta, and there was no snow that winter. It was like sunny and warm all winter, and I was like, where did I move? Like this you moved is to paradise. paradise. <laughs> <laughs> and so yeah, that's that winter was awesome because I was like hiking and fishing all winter. And I was like, this is incredible. I love this place. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, who was the mayor at the time that you were here? Was it Mayor Raton, I think? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, Shari's yeah, well, no, in there now, right? Yeah, Shari Minion. Yes, that's awesome. <laughs> we, uh, we did an interview with her a few weeks ago. You can catch it on our YouTube channel. Nice. If you uh, care to look. Yeah, she's so a great anyway, one thing intriguing that I read in your Facebook page, not your bio, but your Facebook page was yep. you are a freedom builder. Tell me about that. Freedom builder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that, that's actually uh, a working title. <laughs> it's with uh -huh. the new online business that me and my partner are building. And one of the main reasons we got into, you know, working online and building this business was around freedom. Freedom was like the center of everything. Mm -hmm. um, so this could be all kinds of freedom, like freedom from, you could say the corporate grind or the nine to five, freedom from a confined office space, freedom from 
you know, having a boss and having to abide by rules, freedom to make my own schedule, freedom to make my own income too, because this kind of gig that I'm in now, it's all dependent on how much money you put into it. If you want to give yourself a raise, then you're going to hustle hard, right? And mm -hmm. you have that option. You don't have to, you know, wait for someone else to be like, yeah, maybe, no, we can't afford it this year. That kind of That's thing. True. So yeah, just, I guess, freedom to eventually work less and do more of what we love. But also this business we're building, we love it and we're so passionate about it. So that's been like really exciting. And yeah, again, freedom has just been like our total, our goal, the center focus of it all. Okay. So tell me about your radio show. So you're uh, the DJ or some kind of radio host? Yeah. Yeah. So I host the morning show. That's from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Okay. And I just, I talk about all kinds of things. We Is that every day? About, sorry? Is that every day or just yep. the weekday? Monday to Friday. Okay, Monday to Friday. Yeah, yep. Monday to Friday. And so I'm always talking about, you know, music and the artists that created it. We're talking about local events. There's not much right now, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I talk about like my adventures out in nature and just things going on in my life. I, it's kind of like a lifestyle show. I share lots okay, of like, cool. you know, good vibes and inspiration through that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what what is it called? The the show is called The Morning Show on 90. Yeah, well it's actually The Morning Catch. Oh, The Morning Catch. Morning okay. Catch. <laughs> All right. Sort of like part of what we say in the wave. Catch the wave and watch the wave. Ah, uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so you moved to Capital River in 2016? Yes. Or yeah, okay. Almost so 4 years. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. 4 Time years flies. already. So what's the climate that, uh, with just all this that's going on, the COVID-19 crisis going on, what's the climate or situation there in Campbell River? Yeah, well, it's not bad. Are people getting like, uh, quarantine fatigued already? They don't want to burst out of their homes or are they okay <laughs> to stay? Well, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. It's different. It's definitely, everything feels different, right? But Campbell River has been pretty good at pivoting. And we've got some real like uh, resilient businesses here in Campbell River, which has been great. But mm -hmm. there's, of course, there are still the ones that can't open at all, that are struggling. Um, but there's been a lot of support too. Like a lot of people, we, we're seeing businesses supporting other businesses. It's not a competition. It's a, yeah, we're oh, open. But also, this person's open and this person's open and like share the wealth among everybody, which is mm -hmm. really cool. Oh, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. It's like, a, like here, you know, it's a tight knit community. That's one thing yeah. I like about the island. The island is, I don't know, we're tight knit. Yes. We have a different vibe. We have a different mm -hmm. flow. We, have, we, have, we even have our own time zones. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the way we, <laughs> we don't have a different time zone uh, with the rest of the province, but yeah. <laughs> the pace, I, what I mean is the pace, right? We seem to have, mm -hmm. we have a, a term called, we call uh, island time. Yes. Like, I feel like, I'm sleeping in too much and I look at my watch, it's only six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish I could sleep until six. Uh. <laughs> six in the morning? Yeah. Well, oh, you get up at Some of us four thirty, yeah. <laughs> oh, because you have to do your show. Mm. So you, you do your show from home or you have to go to the station? Yeah, it's at the studio. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you're still allowed to go to the studio in spite of the social yeah, distancing. Yeah, we're just system. We're not having like team meetings right now. Only one person allowed in the studio at a time. We clean when we come in. We clean when we go out. That kind of thing. I see. Yeah. Well, one thing you also mentioned in your uh, Facebook uh, profile is you are a health and wellness advocate or, you know, yeah. you're into health and wellness. So tell yeah, me a little oh, yeah. bit about that. I mean, like I've, especially when I moved to the island, but I've always kind of been slowly going down a health and wellness path, you know, just mm -hmm. finding out what really is best for the human body and the human experience. But especially since we started this online business, we're working with like CBD and essential mm -hmm. oils and nutritional sprays and organic hemp products. And just the research I've been doing with that is insane. Like it's just incredible, the wide variety of benefits for the human body. And so, uh, but before that, before we started building this business, you know, I've always just been, um, really in tune with eating well, like eating whole foods, moving my body, making sure that, you know, if something doesn't feel right, then there's something up, discover that, look into mm -hmm. it, find out what's wrong and help aid yourself in that. And so, um, yeah, I just, 
Um, so you and your I partner are into them. this business. Sorry? You and your partner are into this health business yes. thing. Yeah. Okay. For how long now? Uh, just about two months. Still very new. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I'm curious to know, I'm, I ask this to mo in most of my interviews. <clears throat> Had you known the, <clears throat> the crisis was going to come? Because this, this, this whole crisis came upon us like, mm. like all of a sudden. Like, I know. <laughs> all of a sudden, we have to stay home. All of a sudden, people are buying toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> all of the toilet paper. Oh. <laughs> Is there hand toilet paper? <laughs> oh. Well, anyway, had you known that this crisis was coming, what mm -hmm. would you have done differently? Not buy more toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we got, I guess we kind of got a heads up, right? Because we saw it happening um, over in Asia and then it was mm -hmm. in Europe and then um, the States before us. So we kind of had a heads up, but um, I don't know if I would have done anything differently. Like my life doesn't feel that different of course there's restrictions now mm -hmm. and i'm building a business so that's taking up a lot of my time but uh i don't know what i would have done differently sorry well, i'm curious now at this point though uh, i'm curious to know from the people i interview what's your stand about reopening ah interesting right because uh, everybody's like want to burst out of their homes already and there are strikes and rallies in the states that hasn't happened here yet yeah <laughs> We um, well, us, we, we have a few dogs, as you know, and we like to get out for our pack walks almost every day. Not today because it is pouring rain. I don't know what it's like in Alberni, but. Uh, uh, a little bit so, of rain, cloudy. Yeah. So we still like get out for that fresh air. We're getting out for our exercise because that's super important to keep your immune system strong right now. So we're not the ones that are like cooped up in our house and want to break free. Like I, I do feel <laughs> like I, I have a bit of freedom. But uh, the whole reopening everything, uh, it's tricky. I guess we could slowly do it, you know, mm -hmm. open up. I've, I've heard of a couple of restaurants are going to open up soon, but tables are very wide apart, only a few people in at a time. And I guess we see how the numbers work, right? Like, do, do yeah. COVID cases skyrocket when we slowly open things or are they it actually- Close down okay? all over again, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know. So, uh, okay. I'm just curious about, uh, so what was life uh, for you before the pandemonium kicked in? Uh, you were just out there snowboarding, walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were, um, I don't know, just because we started up our business as all that started. So we've been really pumped and excited lately. I guess it was kind of, I don't know, boring and usual. <laughs> We were just kind of coasting through, you know, You're like an outdoors you know. person. No outdoors person is boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. We went out like snowboarding a couple times. We went out snowshoeing a few times this winter, um, but we also spent a lot of time like I don't know, watching TV, numbing ourselves, just trying to get through time. So what, I, guess? I don't know. I'm curious, like everybody else, that they, they already had their summers all planned out. So, what were your plans for the summers that uh, obviously are not going to go through anymore? Yeah, well, a big thing that we like to do is go to music festivals. And so now all oh. the music festivals are canceled. Oh, have so... you been to all the music festivals? Sorry? Baker Shaker? Have you been to the music festival here in Portal Burning, oh, yeah. the Five Acre Shaker? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. How do you like that? Yeah, we had no, to cancel it this year. Good time for a little <laughs> Alberni. I love that they keep it going. Well, not this year, but yeah. I love that they like kept it alive, that Lance kept that alive. Yeah. Yeah, Lance is a good friend of mine as well. I'm going to be interviewing him sometime right. soon because we're doing a series on business owners and awesome. yeah, event planners and stuff like that. So we might yeah. do an interview with him sooner or later. But I think cool. for next week, we'll also be going to interview uh, mothers because Mother's Day is coming up. Nice, yeah. So we're going to do a series on mothers uh, sometime soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. so what changes and adjustments have you made in terms of lifestyle and business dealings and your day-to-day -day activities? since the crisis came about? Um, yeah, I guess the only change would be, you know, we haven't, we used to binge Netflix. Like we used to like watch all of the shows. We'd be, as soon as there was a new release, we'd be on top of it. Now we like never watch TV. Okay, you name know? one, maybe we share a common interest on Netflix. Oh God, what was that, the Tiger one? Oh, one? the Tiger King, I haven't got into that Tiger yet. King, so that was uh, like just as I haven't as started we that one yet. Yeah. Just as we had joined that business, that was like the last one we binged because we're like, okay, everybody's talking about it. And now since we haven't really watched anything, 
Have you but, come across the uh, series uh, The Politician? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. With Ben with, Platt? Oh, my God, I couldn't yes. stop watching it. <laughs> he is an amazing human. Like, his music, his acting. I've oh, I love his singing. Interviews. My God, it was just off the charts. And yeah. then I got hooked onto another one, um, Insatiable. Oh, this- I, watched, I watched that one, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I seriously have seen all of it. I, I hate to admit that. But I'm I'm excited now that this new business has like pulled me away from that. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the continuation of the politician because it ended with Beth Midler. I know. And oh my god, when are they gonna put that back on? I don't but know. Insatiable, <laughs> the of insatiable. I was just so glad it was over. <laughs> yeah. I know. That was one of those shows where I like cringed. I'm like, why am I still watching this? But I couldn't. I know. I felt the same way. <laughs> like and towards the end, I was already getting mad at the main character. Like, what kind of bitch? <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> the only thing that kept my interest towards the end was because uh, the former Miss Universe from the Philippines was in it. Gloria Reyes. Oh, nice. She's a former Miss Universe from the Philippines. Cool. So far in the history of the Philippines, only three uh, Filipino women have uh, claimed the title. That's uh, Margie Moran, Gloria Diaz, but now she's Gloria Reyes. I guess that's her married name. Okay. And then uh, the latest one were Harvey, Steve Harvey made a screw up Hmm. when he announced Miss Colombia, but actually Miss Philippines who won the title. Yeah, 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 that's (laughs) right. She was the third Miss Philippines who won the title of Miss Universe. (laughs) Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, yeah, so, but I guess just, yeah, less TV, building our biz. We've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately, which is really uh-huh. cool. Like, really, like, you know, uplifting, spiritual, motivational ones, which is just helping us a lot. So, okay, I like so, that we traded that in for TV. <laughs> I traded it as my next segue. That's a perfect segue for my next question. So, what are your current involvements and projects and ventures that keep you busy that keep you busy and makes you feel like you're using your time worthwhile, right? Yeah. So tell me about this business. Okay. Feel free. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Okay. So the new business, uh, I'm sure you've heard of like online network marketing. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. This company produces uh, and creates new product lines and stuff. And then us, the affiliates, um, we sell it. We help uh, build a team. We get other people involved. Um, and the products again, CBD, essential oils, Mm -hmm. oral nutritional sprays. Have you ever heard of nutritional sprays? No, I, this is the first time I was, I've, I watched part of the video last night and they mentioned like you spray something so you get nourished. Yeah. So it's like instead of popping pills, because a lot of people have trouble swallowing pills and also a lot Mm -hmm. of people don't digest it properly. They just don't even work. So you spray it uh, under your tongue. 98% Uh absorption rate. It works almost immediately. And there's like one for sleep, which has helped me so much. Okay. There's there's one for energy. It's called boost. There's one for like a pre-workout. There's one for, it's called shield. So that like supports your immune system and it balances the pH. Yeah. And these are all spray on things? Like I spray on and I have a shield. Yeah. Spray in the morning, spray in the afternoon, or I take sleep 15 minutes Mm. before I go to bed and I'm out. It's amazing. Oh, that's very interesting. I have, I need those. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I know, like, it's crazy, the stats, the amount of people that don't have a good, solid sleep. And sleep oh, is, like, the base right to health and wellness. It is, like, if you don't have a good sleep, you don't really have much of a chance for, um, you know, your body optimizing its health and wellness. So. And these are all CBD-based? Uh, the sprays aren't. The sprays have no CBD in them. Okay. Um, but there's like a whole CBD line where you can get oils, tinctures, topical creams, bath bombs, dog treats and oil. There's gummies. Okay. Oh my God. There's so much. <laughs> oh, and when did you get started in get, uh, getting involved in this business? Uh, just about, just under two months ago. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're still fresh. We're still learning. Um, it's crazy though, like how short we've been in it, but how much momentum we've got. And we've already started building a team and my friends are like going crazy over the products. (laughs) You want to join? Of course. The sleep, you got me at sleep. (laughs) I know. Energy boost. The energy boost. uh, The the boost is really good because it, what is the boost again? Your B vitamins? Just checking on my part. The boost is your, yeah. So there's natural caffeine. There's like coffee bean and green tea in it and your B12. 
like a really oh, okay. high dose of B12, which just like is so good for your body and it just puts you on. So it boosts for energy and energy you can use for, you know, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All things, yeah. Well, actually the peak spray, which is the pre-workout one, it's just, it has a lot of uh, superfood antioxidants okay. in it. And it's also good for uh, speeding up your libido, they say, or raising your libido or whatever. You got me again. <laughs> <laughs> Right? <laughs> I can share it too, right? <laughs> yeah. So the thing is, like, I, me and my partner, we saw our friends, like, just killing it with this company and sharing all of their success and their stories. And we're like, for a few years, I've been thinking, I need a side hustle. I need something to do on top of radio. Like, I want something else to be doing with my life. And so when I saw them doing it, and then Corona hit, and we're like, oh my God. Okay. So we looked into it. We did so much research. We looked into all of the products, and we're like, Everything is organic, natural, really good for the human body. A lot of like ancient medicines that, you know, our corporate world, our capitalism has just been like, no, that's not produced in a factory. We can't use that. <laughs> so that gets me excited. Oh, great. Is it a Canadian based company or somewhere Sorry? else? Is it a Canadian based company that makes this? All well, it's actually in the U.S. Okay. Yeah. But they're actually right now they're planning to, they're going to have a Canadian branch. Right now they've oh, got cool. like a new farm and manufacturer. They haven't like opened it yet, but it's it's coming and it's in BC. Oh, cool. That's so <laughs> yeah. great. Oh, they're going to do it in BC. Of course, it's BC, beautiful of British course. Columbia. Where else? Yeah. <laughs> I have to do it in the island though. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we got lots of nice, uh, beautiful places to do that business here. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> well, we're almost out of time. Um, I just like you to uh, take this opportunity to share any message of encouragement. You know, you're into pos uh, you know, spreading positivity and you mm. know, inspiration. So, uh, send a message to our viewers right now. Sure. Well, one thing I've been, here. yeah, one thing I've been really drawing from a lot of the mentors and people that we're learning from lately is that our language is so important. Like the way we talk oh. to ourselves, the way that we that we have so many different voices up here telling us that we can't or we shouldn't or it's not for us or but that's all just mind chatter and you mm -hmm. have the power to turn that around you can say no I got this or no I can do this or I can at least try this and I am like really motivated right now to share that with the world because uh, I've kind of always thought that way myself too you know I can do anything I put my mind to if I actually put in the time and the energy but I know a lot of people, and especially since I've started this business, a lot of people saying, no, I can't, I'll never be good at it. And it's like, well, the more you tell yourself that, then of course, that's going to be your reality. Mm -hmm. So you just got to, whatever you want, whatever you're passionate about, go for it. And just don't let anybody tell you that, no, it's not a good idea. No, you shouldn't. No, you can't. You need to stick to your course and you need to tell yourself that you can and you will. Oh, definitely. I was just listening to... Uh... Uh, a tape or an audio uh, audio book by Napoleon, no, no, uh, Earl Nightingale. Okay. Which was called uh, the 20 Minutes That Can Change Your Life. Mm. And he said, one of the things he said was, in between your ears is a gold mine, which mm. is your brain. Mm -hmm. So, you know, everything that has come about to this very day started here. It was an idea. So Thomas mm -hmm. Edison had an idea for the light bulb and yep. look at that. So exactly. everything starts from here. So get into your gold mine and start digging and yeah. come out with everything spectacular and brilliant. And you'll be amazed at what you will find right here. Totally. And, here. <laughs> and you know, like us humans, we have a million thoughts a day and negative mm -hmm. ones will come, but we need to reject them. We can honor them and be like, okay, yeah, that's a thought, but then let it go and get back to what makes you feel good and what you're exactly about. exactly so before we go i just like to highlight again the fact that ashley clark used to live in port alberni so she was part of the wonderful alberni valley mm -hmm. experience and i'm so glad i got to meet you we haven't met in person as a matter of fact mm -hmm. we've met through facebook Dude. and you know the connection is Real connections aren't made physically only. There's a, there's a spiritual dimension of our existence. And so yep. somehow we connect in some kind of a dimension somewhere, somehow. Totally. And I would like to thank you again. So um, if I were to like want to get into the business you're talking about, I'll just mm -hmm. PM you on Ashley Clark. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. yeah, just send me a message. I can send you. We've got like these really cool uh, introductory informational videos done by one of our two founders who are mm -hmm. like the cutest power couple ever, by the way. Just yeah, I saw, I've seen the video. I was just so, you oh, know, blown yeah, away. That's right. They're so, yeah, I, 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 I watched the video yeah. last night. I and was, so that, if anyone's was interested, moved. it gives like the product information, the compensation plan, the company itself, the industry. So yeah, it's easy peasy just to learn and there's absolutely no commitment just to find out what's going on. Yep, it's a place to draw inspiration from whether you're going to end the business or not. But the things that they talk about does is inspire and does uplift. Mm -hmm. and even just for that, it's worth watching. Totally. All and right. Then when people come on, they always start with personal development first because you can't have business success without inner success. And I love that. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, on the wave, Ashley Clark, radio host and freedom builder, an all-around positive, inspirational person. <laughs> we'll catch you next time on the wave. Thank you.